Hi everyone, Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my empties video for you. This is, oh, this empties video is from, I guess, last week and then a partial week before. Um, yeah, it's been a little bit. I really don't have much here though. I'm kind of wondering where everything is. I, I don't know. I can't go that long without doing an empties again. But even so, like I said, I don't seem to have a whole lot here. But first, let's do some of my non-wax items. First, I opened this, um, they call it a brushy. What this reminds me of, well, it's, it's exactly like uh, the car stinkies that Birdie's Making Sense have. I actually just placed an order with her and ordered three, so I'm excited about those. But I found this from a company called Leaf Cutter Candle Co. I found this in a boutique in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Um, I know that in one of my previous videos, I, I did a haul and showed it to you and it, uh, the picture, it says something about the Dutton Ranch on it. It's a leather scent and it's a fantastic leather scent. It's doing great in my car. So I've had it in there for a good week now. Um, and it, it smells just like, uh, the best leather. So I really like that. And I put that in and replaced this car bar of breakfast in bed. I love this but my entire family hated it. I mean, not just Brad, nobody liked it. I thought it was great. I thought it did a great job. I can still smell it. I thought it lasted longer than I really anticipated, but um, like I said, nobody liked it but me. Uh, I went through a package of jumbo cotton balls, boring. And then I replaced two of my wallflowers with laundry day and I put these in uh, right before we left for vacation because the house was going to be closed up. Oh my gosh, these things are amazing. Some wallflowers I don't have the best luck with. I don't know about y'all, but um, the bakery ones I don't have good luck with at all. But all of these laundry scents and uh, like they have a linen sheets, laundry day. I don't know, but the ones like this I have great luck with and those are still doing great. I actually had to take um, I actually had to take them out and just put the lids back on because they were just um, giving me a little too much. So I did a lot of mixing uh, this week and one of my mixtures I have here, oops, let's see what I did. So I had um, some leather from Kay's. Kay's makes probably my best my favorite leather. I, I really like her leather a lot. And I've went through um, a couple of the eight ounce, eight ounce customs of her leather. So I took this leather and I mixed it with uh, blackberry jam, blackberry jam, butter cookies, vanilla ice cream. I had two of those. So I mixed it with this, the blackberry, all these blackberries with the leather. And I also had a black raspberry vanilla I mixed it with. Yuck. Um, an elderberry whipped meringue, uh, scoopable wax from Kathy's, which kind of reminds me of blackberry a little bit. And then I had a huckleberry marshmallow mulberry type from Kathy's scoopable wax. This was a really, really good day. These blackberries just really livened up the leather. I like the leather, but sometimes if you get too much, it can be a little much for some people. But the blackberry mixed with leather is fantastic. So I gotta see what else that I have to mix with that leather. So I did that. Um, one day I did some Gryffindor from L3 in my bedroom. This performed amazingly. Just a very uh, cologne masculine scent. So I really like this. Um, like I said, it's through wonderful. And I have no idea how old this is because I got it in a G-stash. So I was really afraid it was going to lose some of its zing. But I'm going to need to get rid of that. Um, okay, so I cut into a Brita's loaf. I have Night and Terror Tower, which is Palo Santo, Blackberry, and Tobacco in Bay. So I had this great big loaf, and I've got this double bag. I love this on cold. I thought it was great. 
Um, the blackberry, I think, really shines in this. Definitely get some uh, woodsy and some tobacco. This was poured April 14th. I, I don't know, what's, what's a good amount of cure time for Britis? I mean, I would have thought five months was plenty. It was okay. It didn't. It didn't thrill me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep this for another couple months. Maybe try it again in December, and see what I get. Um, I really, really want Britta's to work for me. I have quite a bit of Britta's. I am so drawn to her scent list. I am so drawn to her. Um, her blends. I want them to perform great they, because they smell amazing on cold. Um, I just want them to work for me. So that was, I would say, uh, maybe a almost a medium throw, but that's not good enough for me. So uh, I figure uh, finished from Broadway Wax, one of my customs, I named this custom Ben. It's Blackberry and Sugared Violets, Laundromat and Snuggle, top notch. This was amazing. Every one of these, uh, blends that I did when I bought, when I, when I did the, what was the movie I was watching? Uh, the Family Stone. These are going on a year old. They'll be a year old in December. So they're all fantastic. This was great. Definite 100% repurchase. I will have her pour this for me again. So I'm going to keep this. Oh, I have this in my spreadsheet. Do I really need to keep? I'm going to keep it just in case. Loved that. It was great. All day long. I mean, all day long. Yesterday, I did... No, not yesterday. It would have been Friday. Friday, I did from Sassy Girl Aroma, Incense and Amber, which is sandalwood incense with exotic amber. Okay, this one was very strong on cold, and I really thought that it was going to be too much, but it wasn't. So strange. Um... I kept thinking it wasn't performing for me because it was not a knock you in the face type um, smell in my house, but it was always there. If I would uh, go into the back bathroom and come back out, I could smell it. If I would go out to the garage, to the fridge, I'd come back in, I could smell it. So I think it was, I think it was okay. I mean, I, it just wasn't a constant. I couldn't smell it like all day long. And I know people talk about nose blind and I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I, I don't think that I would seek this one out. I, I do think some of her other blends that are similar, like, um, is it Woodstock Boogie? That's one of my favorites. I love that one. It's not exactly like this. I guess it's not incense. It's, I think it's a, Patchouli blend, a patchouli sugar cookie type blend maybe. But I love that. And I like that a lot more than this. I do think this was maybe better than I thought it was. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, from Kay's. Um, I had made a custom in Bedtime Baby, Lavender and Febreze. I had done this last January. I put this in my bedroom. It's amazing. This was excellent. This was really, really a nice, subtle uh, Febreze. And that bedtime baby is what I get the most. Very clean, very clean smell, but soft and, and baby, baby, -y, I guess. I don't know if I would repurchase this because I'm not drawn to these kind of scents so much anymore but I'm but I might I mean it was really good it was a powerhouse powerhouse medium to high throw so it was really good okay so then I had a really good day when I did this I decided to do a beach nights day and I did it all through my house I did it in my office open concept bedroom everything so I had beachfront from sassy girl aroma it did very well and I had all these samples of from L3. Vanilla Satin Beach Nights White Cake, Waffle Cone Graham Crackers Beach Nights, another Vanilla Satin Beach Nights White Cake, uh, Beach Nights Warm Vanilla Sugar Boardwalk Mallow Clouds, 
waffle cone graham cracker beach knife, and a boom boom mallow fireside. Amazing, wonderful, so, so good. Um, I probably have some more beach night samples that I could do this again with, or I may just do this by itself because it is really good. It really is. Really good. Okay, I did from Delectable Plaid a tea and cake sample in my bathroom from, well, it's the back bathroom, but it, it's the one that eats scents. I mean, so hard. This is really good. I made a Delectable Plaid order a long time ago. And there were just these little shot cups and some small little snap bars uh, that I would probably have to have three or four of them for my open concept. They were so small. But I think they're doing some different types of, um, uh, like some different ways to, to get wax besides those two. They've got some bigger amounts now. So I'm going to look into them again. Seem to have a, a pretty good uh, scent list, reasonable prices. So yeah, it's... Um, Delectable, delectable plaid, but I've been happy with everything I've melted from delectable plaid. So, um, I kind of got back into coffee again. I've been um, a little burnt out on coffee. I think a little nose blind to coffee. So one day I did hug it a mug from Scentsy. I love this. I absolutely love this. It's going to go into my club when it goes away. Love it, love it, love it. And I mixed that with Rise and Shine Buttercup, which is Thai sticky rice, dark coffee beans, and sugar cookie from Ebony Violet. And this is this is nice. It's not a real strong coffee, but um, it's just a really creamy, nice. Mm, I, I really like that. And the two of them together, it was just a very warm, inviting day. I really, really like that. So yeah, hugging a mug though is one of my favorites. Uh, then in the back bathroom, I did Coven, which is leaves, pumpkin, pecan waffles, and mac apple. And this is from Closet Full of Wax. And this did well. I could smell this in there. It's just exactly what it says. I think we've all had a pumpkin, pecan, waffle, leaves blend. It was very good. It did really good. Then I went through one more coffee, uh, Destination Wax Cafe Brulee. It's fine. It's nice. I don't think that I would seek this out anymore. Um, it wasn't bad. It was just a, a nice, sweet, sweet coffee, but nothing that I have to have. And then I did a uh, Moon Spice Cookie from De Destination Wax. I really do like this one. Uh, it's Sugar Cookies, Coffee, and Celtic Moon Spice. This one I like, and I think uh, the general consensus is most people like it as well. So, I would, I would probably get some more of this. Okay, then I want to talk to you about a company called Astigo and, Aster and Indigo Candle Co. Okay, look at these bags that the melts come in. Are they not beautiful? So, this company is actually owned by my niece. Um, they are out of Colfax. Illinois, which is um, about an hour and a half um, north of us, so it's central, centralish Illinois. Um, so, uh, like I said, uh, my niece Lauren, she has this candle company, and uh, she has a lot of help from her mom. Um, they also have a uh, like a kind of like a craft store. They just have the neatest store in Colfax and they have a lot of vendors in there and just strive to have really neat things. So if anybody's watching from, you know, Illinois or the central Illinois region, give their uh, little store uh, some love. Like I said, it's Aster and, and their store is called Aster and Indigo Market. Her, her candle company is called Aster and Indigo Candle Co. She does... Um, 100% soy wax, uh, USA grown soy phthalate free fragrance hand poured in Colfax. Um, so yeah, I will say 100% soy is not my favorite. I usually like more of a blend, but um, but yeah, I mean she's got some some awesome scents. This one I'm going to talk about right now. I would definitely repurchase. I really really liked it. 
Uh, it's called Sunday Brunch. And she's, they've got new packaging now. This is their old packaging. They're doing something a little different now where it comes in um, a box and it's got a little clamshell inside it, but the outside pack packaging is brown like this. Their aesthetic is um, off the charts. It's, it's wonderful. And I really, I was gonna order, when I placed this order, I was gonna get a candle and I thought, no, because I wanted to show you all her candles. And I thought, no, I've got one. I don't. I took all my candles out to do those videos and I must have burned through all the candles that I had. So, um, and I was going to do, I was going to do a haul video for a company and I probably still will um, when I do another order. I will just add to this one and just do a big haul because a lot of what I ordered were her um, discounted scents, so I don't even know if they're available anymore. But yes, I did order this, um, use my own money to pay for this. Um, have I ever gotten a candle? Yes. Has she ever brought me a candle? Of course she has, you know, when she comes down for holidays and things like that. But this order was completely paid for by me. But anyway, so one day I had um, some Sassy Girl Aroma Radiant Red Maple. Um, which is crisp red Macintosh apple with smoky notes, sweet maple scent. Okay. And I mixed that with her Sunday brunch and I did it all over and it was a great day. And her Sunday brunch is caramel maple, maple glazed pecans, crunch cake. I really, really like this. Like I said, this will definitely be a repurchase. Radiant red maple. I could probably live without, I, I probably won't seek this out. I actually got this in a D stash as a freebie and it was great. I loved it. Um, yeah. Another one of her scents that I really like is her coffee shop. I went through a, uh, one of her coffee candles already. This is espresso caramel and maple and it's, um, it's very good. I really like her coffee. Um, this one, Farmhouse Kitchen, was my least favorite of what I melted from her this week. I didn't get a whole lot from this, and maybe it's because I didn't have enough. Um, this was one of her, one of her small bags, and it, it basically took the whole bag to do my open concept, and that was with just putting two little wafers in my warmers, and it says to add two to three. So some of my bigger warmers, I might have needed a little more. But um, this one was Farmhouse Kitchen, and I couldn't find any scent notes. I think this is one of hers that might be going away, but I'm not sure. But yeah, but the Sunday brunch and the coffee shop are definite uh, repurchases for me. So that is what I got through this last week and a half. Uh, I've got a melting basket almost done. I'm gonna do a video on that. I found that. I need a melting basket. Even if I don't follow it 100%, I can't just get up in the morning and go to my wax closet and try to figure out what to melt. I have to have a plan because I have too much and it's overwhelming. <laughs> so that's where I am. So I'm gonna go back to the melting baskets. Okay, well, I will probably be back with that video soon. Talk to you later.